hey guys welcome back to my channel if you guys haven't already please subscribe down below and join the family today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make my thing at tostadas so if you guys want to see the recipe then go ahead and keep on watching okay you guys so before I begin this little series of cook with me videos um, I just wanted to leave a little disclaimer I am NOT a professional this is just what works for me this is what my family likes um, I know it's kind of cutting off of like traditional um, recipes uh, so I kind of like it's kind of like for a mommy on the go so um, some of the things uh, that you would do traditionally I'm just like cutting down the cooking time um, just to make it easier for mothers like me who um, do things all day long they just want to come home and cook really fast um, so yeah I just wanted to let you guys know that um, so I don't want to see no negative comments about that's not how you do it because honestly this is the way that I love to cook and this is the recipes that my family actually loves so um, I'm and I'm open to like your guys recipe I would love to see your guys recipe but I don't want to have any hate uh, comments because I know this is not the traditional way to make certain things um, but yeah, I just wanted to leave a little disclaimer because like I said my mom didn't learn me they didn't teach me how to cook so don't come for me come for my mom <laughs> no I'm just kidding um, but yeah this is just the easier way to make certain traditional food so yeah if you guys want to see how to, I made the thing then just keep on watching okay you guys so for the ingredients what you're going to need is some chicken um, and sometimes if I'm in a hurry I actually get the rotisserie chicken it's already made I get two rotisserie chickens and I do the same thing but um, I don't have to wait for it to cook but for this video I'm gonna show you guys how I actually cook my chicken um, you're gonna need some tostadas because that's what we're gonna put the tosta thing on you're gonna need um, some tomatoes sauce sour cream some chipotle peppers and adobo sauce this is what's gonna make the flavor um, you're gonna need one uh, onion and you're gonna need some lettuce or cabbage I like lettuce um, so yeah guys let's get this one started so first we're gonna start off by cooking the chicken okay you guys so to flavor the chicken all I'm gonna be doing is adding some garlic salt to the chicken and then I'm gonna add the chicken to the water and let it boil um, the way you know that chicken is ready is that it's no more pink it's just completely white okay you guys so all I do is just put some garlic salt and this is just for flavor um, because we are gonna add it to the water so I don't like to touch it with my nails so all I do is just use a fork and just place it in the water Okay, so now that they're all in the water, I'm gonna add a little bit of more garlic. Okay, so we're gonna let this cook. Um, right now it's 345, so I'll let you guys know how um, long it took me, and I'm using it on a medium high. Um, so yeah, guys, make sure that you cook it fully. Um, the way you'll know that it'll be ready is that if it's white and there's no more pink, and it's like if you piece, if you use the fork, and you kind of like tear it apart it tears apart like very very easily um, so that's how you know that it's ready so I'm gonna let this sit and cook and then I'm gonna be doing all the other stuff okay you guys so as the chicken is cooking I'm gonna be cutting up my onion um, so what I do is cut it in half right down the middle and I'm only gonna use about half of it um, so let me take off the skin so I'm gonna cut it in half one more time and you guys I am NOT a pro literally I just do what I think I'm supposed to be doing <laughs> um, but yeah this is just the way I do it because it's kind of easier so now that it has like a flat bottom and a flat top I leave it like this and then start cutting really really small um, pieces of onion so you want to be left with like these type of pieces just like this and I'm gonna cut the rest of the onion. So here is how your onion should look. So just kind of small pieces of onion. If you don't like your onion like this, you could cut it uh, however you like, but my husband likes it like this, and I'm surprising him with the now because this is his favorite dish, um, and he's coming home, so I'm gonna surprise him with his favorite dish. Um, and he's been texting me like I miss your thing and I'm like I know me too and I don't eat it without him because I'll feel bad and I'll feel guilty Okay, you guys so now I'm gonna be cutting the lettuce 
So what I like to do is just open the lettuce and cut, let me see. I'm gonna put the little bottom part on the bottom and I'm gonna cut down the center just like the onion. So now, with this side, all I'm gonna be doing is chopping it very finely, um, little, little, little tiny strips. And we don't need a lot because we don't really eat a lot on it, but, so that's pretty much what we're gonna use. Um, but if you have a bigger family, go ahead and cut it, cut more. But with me, it's just me and my husband that eat the lettuce, so we don't need a lot. So just chop it down. Just like that, and what I like to do is add some water and then um, kind of rinse it out a little bit. So I'm gonna put it in a bowl. Um, and then I'm gonna rinse it off and then put it in the refrigerator so it can stay cool. The chicken is cooking, it's almost ready. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing is start, I'm gonna start frying the onions. Um, so I'm getting a pan and I just put a little bit of oil as you can see. And all we're gonna do is just fry them. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love the smell of like fried onions, but I don't like the taste of it, if that makes sense. Like, I love the smell of it, but I just can't eat it. I don't know, it's something about the texture, I don't know, but yeah guys, we are just gonna be cooking these um, at a medium temperature um, until they get caramelized, but make sure you watch them because I already recorded this video once and I accidentally burned the onions so because they turned black on me so make sure that you're watching them um you just want to make sure that they look caramelized and that's it so i'm gonna come back when these are done okay you guys so this is the color that you want your onions um if you like them a little bit more fried then you can go ahead and fry them a little bit longer but this is the way my husband likes them so my chicken is ready and like I said, um, the way to tell that it's ready is you use two forks and then you tear it apart and if it tears apart evenly, I mean easily, <laughs> then it is ready and I already tried um, tearing it apart and it's already like really, really good, see? So make sure there's no pink on it and then what we're gonna do is just place it on a plate. Just gonna place it on a plate. And then on this plate is where I'm going to be uh, cutting it apart. So now it's time to make the thinga sauce. So what you're gonna need is the tomato sauce, the chipotle and adobo, the garlic salt, and you're gonna need some chicken bouillon, or they call it consomme, I believe, in Spanish. Um, but yeah, so this is what we're gonna need. And then we are going to be blending it, so you're gonna need a blender. So now it is time to make the sauce. So one of the most important things is the actual, um, what is this called? Chicken broth, sorry. So make sure to keep the uh, water that you cook the chicken in because this is what's gonna give it a lot of flavor. So what I'm gonna do is add about two cups, I believe, of the chicken broth. So just adding it to the blender. So actually using this measuring thing, I actually added, added three cups of the chicken broth. So now what we're going to add is the tomato sauce. One thing I wanted to mention about the tomato sauce is that like people actually use real tomatoes, like fry them and then add them to here. But this is the way that I learned and honestly it tastes exactly the same because I've tried both methods. Um, and this is kind of quicker for me since it's already made in the can. So that's why I prefer using tomato sauce um, over real tomatoes, but you guys can actually use the tomatoes as well. I believe it's like three tomatoes. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna use the tomato sauce and I'm pouring the whole entire um, can. The next thing you're going to wanna add are the chipotle peppers. Um, so one thing I wanna mention about the peppers is that if you like your food spicy, then go ahead and add as many peppers as you'd like. Just add them like one by one and then try it because these peppers are really, really spicy. Um, but my family, we do not like spicy things. Um, so we are gonna only use two, maybe even one, because that's like enough for my family. Um, so yeah guys, so depending on what you like, if you like your food spicy, add as many as you like, but I'm gonna only add one or two. So what I do is take it out of the container so this is what they look like it's like a whole pepper um just adding one 
And then I'm gonna add one more. Add it one by one and then mix it and see if you like it because this could get really spicy. Okay, so all I did was just add the two. Um, so now we're gonna add the seasoning. So we are going to add some garlic salt. This is what's gonna give it flavor. But don't add too much because you don't want it too salty. And then you, we are going to add the chicken bouillon. So I like to add about two tablespoons, I think. Just like that. And now we are going to mix it all together. Hey guys, so now I'm going to be mixing it in my Ninja because I don't have like an actual blender. So we're just going to mix it. So now we are going to start shredding the chicken. Um, and all you have to do really is just kind of shred it in pieces. Um, just like this. So we're going to shred all of it kind of hot so you guys gotta be careful good thing I have nails because this is easier for me so yeah I'm gonna shred all of the chicken and then we're gonna add it to the pan so I shredded all the chicken and I added it to a pan um, now all I'm gonna do is add the onions and I could have cooked them in the same pan but I don't know why I cooked them in a smaller pan so all I'm gonna do is just add all the onions just like that and now we are going to add the sauce that we made so now i'm gonna put the oops wrong one <laughs> i'm gonna put the stove to medium so we're just gonna add all the sauce to the pan just like that now what we're going to do is just mix it all up and once it's all mixed together, we're gonna just put it on a low heat and let it simmer for about, I wanna say like 15 minutes. Um, and I'm gonna cover it as well. So, now I'm gonna lower the heat to like a low. And I'm going to be placing the lid on. So we are gonna let it set for about 15 minutes and then it'll be ready to eat. So as we're waiting for the chicken to simmer in the sauce, I'm going to be uh, preparing our tostadas. So I'm going to be using these tostadas, uh, but you can always make your own. And I'm going to show you guys the way that I prepare it, um, like my family prepares it. Um, but I've seen also people use uh, beans at the bottom of the tostada. However, we love sour cream, so I use sour cream to uh, prepare the tostada. So all you do is just get a tostada, get a little bit of sour cream, and just put a layer of the sour cream. <laughs> so now I'm going to be adding the finga to my tostadas. Where is this, Mom? Okay, so now we have our tostadas ready and all I'm gonna do is add some, I'm gonna just add some lettuce, just like this. And you guys could also add like cheese on top if you want, um, but actually I'm gonna be adding avocados. Okay you guys, so that is how I make my finger tostadas. Super easy and they're super delicious. If you guys remake them, go ahead and tag me. I would love to see what you guys top yours with. Um, like I said before, everyone does theirs differently. This is just the way that my family likes them, especially my husband, he loves these. And I can never get enough of these, they're so yummy. But yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys like uh, recipe videos like these. So they're kind of like hack videos um, just to cut down cooking time. Um, so yeah, just let me know if you guys want to see more. I'm um, thinking of doing either a picadillo recipe or a chilaquile or enchiladas. But, so let me know down below what you guys want to see next. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!